Since I started taking art seriously in May, I have completed these two whole sketchbooks. I started out like this, then it looked like this, then it looked like this, then this, and now I can do all this. I want to take you guys through these sketchbooks because first of all, I think it'll be great for any beginners out there because if you type in sketchbook on YouTube, you're just going to get these ridiculous Picasso looking ass sketchbooks and this will just give you a much better idea of what a beginner's sketchbook actually looks like. Lastly, some of these sketches in here are pretty shitty and it'll be kind of funny to laugh at. Go ahead, go ahead, laugh at me. Laugh at the funny comment. Now, I've already made a video that goes in depth for the first like two thirds of my first sketchbook. So if you've already seen that, you can skip to this point in the video. But if you haven't seen that or you just want a refresher on the beginning of my journey, I'm going to get through this first part pretty quickly. So I started drawing because I wanted to make my own animated television show and, and I whipped up this, this, this and, and this and I was like okay okay yeah um, maybe I don't know how to draw I started looking up a few tutorials looking up anatomy how to draw guidelines and shortly after doing this I drew Luffy's face and I was like whoa I learned some fundamentals I actually kind of tried and it turned out pretty decent it's kind of fun thus began my obsession with drawing Luffy over and over again a bunch of people commented on the fact that I chose the one character that constantly stretches out his limbs and never represents normal human anatomy but hey I had a good ass time drawing him and I still learned quite a lot then I hit a small depression after realizing I still can't design my own character after one week of practice, and then I moved on. It was time to branch out from drawing Luffy. So here's a few frames of Aang. I drew nine frames of Zhao from Zuko and Zhao's fight and turned it into this whole animation, which was really cool. Tried again at my own character design. This was maybe a slight improvement. This is my first attempt at a still life. Not great. Some more doodling. Uh... This is my first try at a few gesture drawings, as well as this random mirror picture I decided to draw of myself. Here are a bunch more gesture drawings that I started doing. This was a breath of fresh air, honestly, because it was way less pressure than trying to draw these detailed drawings. And it was fun trying to learn some new fundamentals. There's a few more kind of crappy still life drawings. Looked up some photos on Pinterest for reference. This is a tree from outside. Here's my little hand study that I did that I referenced in my last video. And the last drawing you've seen from this sketchbook is from my bathroom. I like the colors and the simple shapes, and I was just trying to replicate that. Okay, so that was our little recap of everything that I covered in depth in my first video. I was pretty happy with the improvement I made at this point and what I could draw after 30 days of practice. But I also knew this was just the very, very beginning and I was still extremely far away from being close to achieving my goals. So I kept drawing. I wanted to practice some perspective and building drawing, so I sat outside and tried to sketch my apartment. That sketch was a little flat though, so I tried drawing it in more of a fisheye view. I had no idea, and I still don't know, how to draw five-point perspective. So this was kind of just based off vibes. Here's a bunch of apples. I actually feel like I finally made a slight breakthrough with the shading in this. And it was fun to try to figure this out and work through how to get down the values properly. Here's kind of a half-baked sketch from outside the Frist Art Museum. One of the employees that checked me in, I saw a drawing in his sketchbook, some heads. And he said, it's really good to understand what's underneath. So drawing skulls and skeletons can really help you out a lot to understand the structure. So that was an awesome interaction. Very wholesome. Talked to another artist. So I went home and sketched some skulls. The one on the left here is actually a sketch of a sketch from a tutorial. So, you know, kind of cheating. But the other one here, I just looked up a picture on Google Images and sketched that out. And I think these turned out pretty good. This is a very okay sketch of the power lines outside my apartment. However, I do like the composition. This is a still life of my watering can. Next two pages are filled with spoons. We got spoons on spoons on spoons on spoons. I don't know. I just like grabbed a spoon, sat it down, and drew it. I just wanted to understand how people draw reflections and stuff. Ah! Ah! Oh, what is that? What is that? Yeah, it's me. That, uh, that's me. I try to draw a self-portrait. I'm just not even gonna critique this. I think we know that it's just bad. It was my first self-portrait, so I'm not gonna beat myself up over it. Here's some gesture drawings. I actually did some real life gesture drawings when I was at the airport, and it made me feel real cool. It made me feel like a real art boy, but it was also a little stressful because I was always worried that people were gonna look up and see me sketching them. Like, I'm just like, Here's a POV drawing I did. I saw these in a bunch of those sketchbook videos online and I wanted to give it a shot myself. Also two drawings of my eraser, pretty exciting stuff. There's this YouTuber I really, really like. His name is Nakey Jakey and occasionally he makes some music videos. So I just use those as reference for some gesture drawings. There's another POV drawing of my childhood bedroom. The perspective is like super off. It's just not good, but honestly, it's very hyped to see this right now because I know that I recently drew a, another POV bedroom drawing in my second sketch 
book that you'll see in a few minutes and it's like definitely a big improvement real quick pov drawing of me at my friend's house and another pov drawing of me sitting in my bed and one more kind of unfinished one that i did back at the airport shit bit of a change in tone here yep this is me this is my naked bod spoilers for blue period if you want to read or watch blue period do not listen just skip like 10 15 seconds ahead i got inspired to do this from the scene in blue period where yatara and ryuji draw themselves naked and i was like I'm gonna draw myself naked. And you know what? This is overall not too bad. The proportions are decent. I like the hand. I think that's my favorite part of it. My shoulders are kind of small and my mouth look area looks weird. Kind of look like Voldemort or something. Again, common theme, shading, not really getting. Here's a shitty drawing of a mug, perhaps an even worse drawing of a mug. And for my last drawing of my first sketchbook, it's a bunch more gesture drawings from Naked Jakey's music video. These are really, really fun to draw because of his big old pants. I really like doing that in the gesture drawings. That being said, these aren't amazing. The proportions are off and they're, they're really stiff, but I do think that my gesture drawings get a lot better in my second sketchbook. And the first page of my second sketch book is just as bad it's literally the exact same thing but don't worry it does get better trust me here's another pov drawing it's of the table that i usually draw at it's not great perspective is kind of weird little goblin hand but it's kind of fun drawing all the little things on the table and the wall kind of satisfying to get that all in there this one's just not that great pretty low effort this is a drawing of one of the best panels in blue period and honestly the body looks pretty great like the anatomy everything looks pretty good especially because i did it all in pen too didn't do any guidelines or anything However, the face just is so, it's really messed up. <laughs> POV of my desk. Here's a few more gesture drawings from Nakey Jakey. This should be the last of them. This is, uh, sorry. This is of my, uh, this is of my plant, Stanley. He's, uh, no longer with us. I just wanted to draw him before, uh, he left this world. So, if we could all just do a, a moment of, of peace, that'd be, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. I, uh, I spelled peace wrong. Here's another great shot from Blue Period. And actually this one turned out pretty good. I think I just did the anatomy and the pose pretty well. Hell yeah, this is like the first actual good drawing in here, I feel. This is another shot from Blue Period. Drawing this definitely got me pretty amped up and reassured me that like, I kind of am getting better at this. Like I, I, I can feel the momentum going. And then in classic Jake fashion, I took that confidence and made myself think that I could finally draw my own character without reference. Nope, what the fuck? The soccer looking guy looks all right and i actually kind of like the emotion i got out of this one and the anatomy is solid on the super edgy anime guy too you know what it's an improvement and, and we'll take that and then i kept going again improvement it's hard for me to consistently draw the same character with different expressions and there's also this but i like this guy he's fun here's a pov sketch of another plane ride that i had and honestly i think the perspective looks a little bit better here okay so if you have seen this video these next two pages should look very familiar to you long story short made my own character and tried to animate her. And I'll just let, let you make your own opinions on how this went. I need to take a piece. No! This is kind of a random page with some perspective practice and a stuffed goose. So for this next batch of sketches, I really wanted to work on my line confidence because I hated all the chicken scratch that I'd been doing and I saw somewhere that practicing a lot with just pen can really help with your line confidence. This is Gojo from Jujutsu Kaisen. Drawing in pen is kind of scary and it's a little leap of faith every time you take a stroke, but honestly, it felt great and very freeing. Here's a few sketches of Itadori from Jujutsu Kaisen and even though they're not like perfect from the reference, I still think they look solid. Now these are a little bit rougher, I think. They're supposed to be of Nausicaa from Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. I just didn't get it quite right with these. It's tough getting the faces right without guidelines, but once again, copying down the hatching was awesome. I really want to learn how to do this myself without having to use reference. I just think it looks incredible. Here's a few gesture sketches from this Knights of the Old Republic cinematic. This one's a little off, but I think the rest look pretty decent. Ooh, I really like this one. It's of Spike from Cowboy Bebop and maybe his most notable pose, and I think it turned out great. The only thing was the shading was kind of tough and it doesn't look amazing because I was trying to adapt it from the simple shading and the reference to hatching, but overall, very happy with it. Here's two more drawings of Spike. Hair's a little uneven here, but I thought these two were solid. If you see my most recent video, you know what? We've got a lot of hand drawings in here. So if you want a more in-depth video on how I learned how to draw hands, go watch that. So these were from trying to draw my own hand and this is from a tutorial, obviously getting kind of frustrated here. Because drawing hands is kind of hard. And this is some more tutorial training and bam, we got, we got some hands going here. I actually quite enjoyed drawing all these hands. It was, it was very satisfying to get it together and they're, they're very aesthetic. Brief hand intermission to draw Mugen from Samurai Champloo. These turned out just okay. I, I kind of want to revisit him and make some better sketches. More hands, yay. 
Yay! And guess what's on the next page? More hands. Here's my little four minute hand sketch challenge. That was great. I really enjoyed doing that. And the rest of these hands are frames to that snapping animation I made in my previous video. Also, there's like a few gesture drawings in here. Just as a break from drawing hands all the time. After I finished the hands, I also did a few gesture drawings. I think they're just a nice little break from drawing stuff that requires some more time and finer detail. I'm definitely getting a lot better at drawing, which could only mean one thing. Jake gets depressed because he still can't draw his own character without reference. Woo! This one honestly really got to me. I mean, some of these are okay, but not really any improvements. I honestly got really, really frustrated. I mean, look at this thick ass scribble. After sulking for a majority of that night and thinking I would never achieve my dreams or amount to anything, I pulled myself together and I realized something. I have literally been drawing for only three months. I don't really deserve to be able to draw some amazing character yet. I gotta earn that shit, so I kept on practicing. Here's some more gesture drawings. There's a lot of geese, a hand, two rectangular prisms, and this guy. You know, I think it's funnier if I just don't explain this. Oh, oh yeah, okay. So on this page, I learned three-point perspective. When I learned this, I thought it was literal magic. I couldn't stop doing it. It was so fun and it felt so good to learn some real good fundamentals. I will leave the amazing tutorial I watched for this in the description. Here are two drawings of Naruto. First one is, uh, it's kind of wide. I don't know why, I just messed up the proportions and I was drawing with pen, so oops. And this one has the proper girth, but I totally fucked up the hands. You'd think after a week straight of training hands, I'd at least somewhat get these to look okay, but uh, no, they look pretty bad, so. Here's a POV drawing of me sitting from my couch. And honestly, not too bad. Definitely my best POV drawing I've done so far. On this page, I did some more cube studies. I really wanted to learn how to rotate a cube with proper perspective, so I was trying to figure that out. But honestly, it was really hard and frustrating to figure out, so I ended up just drawing Ace from One Piece, and that was way more fun. <laughs> so hell yeah, fuck fundamentals. I just want to draw anime characters all day. Here's a little reference study I did from the trailer for Lazarus. This is Watanabe's new show he's coming out with. He made Cowboy Bebop and Samurai Champloo, two shows that I absolutely love. And first of all, holy shit, this trailer's amazing. I've watched it so many times. Go freaking watch that shit. Unfortunately, these pen sketches just didn't really go that great. They're kind of off. Probably just wasn't really focusing that well, so I, I do want to revisit this at some point. Here's another POV drawing from a bedroom, and this is definitely the best one I've done so far. Thinking back when I said all the way back to my first ones, this is definitely way better, right? Those Q perspective studies that I did definitely helped out a lot for the perspective for this. It does get a bit wonky with the desk and where the ceiling lines are supposed to be, but overall this was a huge improvement. Goose. Here's a more fisheye drawing I did of that same room. I don't really know how to do five point perspective still. I didn't know what I was doing, but despite that, there's something here. It still looks kind of neat, even though a lot of this is super wonky. Okay, so the rest of this sketchbook is filled with tons of gesture drawings. I don't want to go into too much detail on this because it may or may not be the topic of a future video, but I will show you the rest of the pages in this sketchbook as promised. That is two whole sketchbooks down. Pretty cool. Pretty proud of that. I think it's a great idea for any artist to go back and look through their sketchbook, see what they learned, see what mistakes they've made, and just see how far they've come from when they first started that sketchbook. And honestly, it's like really satisfying completing a sketchbook. These two things are like full of all my drawings. I was learning how to draw. It's pretty cool. Throughout these sketchbooks, I learned and definitely still am learning how to draw human anatomy and face structure with proper guidelines. I learned perspective, gesture drawings, hands, line confidence with a pen. But I honestly think the most important learning experiences through drawing these sketchbooks were those times when I so desperately wanted to be able to draw my own character without reference. And every time just being really disappointed from how far I am from achieving my goals. And I just learned a lot on how to have a good mindset about that and how to bounce back from when it inevitably happens again. And overall, just a better perspective on being a beginner, a three point perspective, patience, hard work. And lastly, God damn it, I really just want to draw some cool shit, but I can't even draw a goddamn face. I've been drawing for three months.